Hiding your insecurities is as essential as not inflicting bad breath on the world. There, I said it. I am absolutely standing behind this statement. I think we live in an age of overwrought vulnerability and rawness where emotional displays are being celebrated and people are being lauded as being brave and virtuous when all they do is just being emotionally incontinent. Look, I get it. It's perfectly okay to, when the moment is right, when you've really come to a place in a relationship, even in a business relationship, where it's okay that you can admit that there are certain things in your past that drive you, or that you said that something that another person said that this in somehow in some way insulted you. It's okay. But it really has to be the exception rather than the rule. And in our current culture, we are celebrating this to be the default move. And I think there's something profoundly wrong in that. I think this is the case because people are simply too self-absorbed to also be dealing with the emotional incontinence of other people. They want their problem solved. This is what they are doing in business. When I help you to find clients on LinkedIn, I don't want to burden you with whatever is in my mind, with whatever insecurities I've been dealing with and whatever childhood traumas I've had. Not that I've had major childhood traumas, I believe. But it is simply not fair to inflict this on others. Just like inflicting a bad mood on someone is not fair. And just like inflicting a bad breath. So before next time you celebrate vulnerability and someone being emotionally overtly open, how about you withhold and think this old English virtue of stiff upper lip, maybe there is something to it after all.